Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed never hides his administration's commitment to major infrastructural projects that can boost commercial activities across the state and uplift his people. Today, He's in the Loring East local government area to begin a process that will turn around the fortunes of the ever busy Kulende, UITH, or Kyosef Federal Road and attend to the plight of motorists. <laughs> Over the years, the Lorry Metropolis has witnessed tremendous population growth, leading to increased pressure on infrastructure such as this road. As a government focused on public welfare and safety, therefore, we are left with no option than to dualize this road to ameliorate the hardship faced by road users, often at high social and economic costs. Let me assure you, therefore, that the social and economic activities along this road will be enhanced and traffic-related hardship eliminated when the dualization project is completed. He also gives an assurance to owners of property who will be affected by the project that they will be compensated appropriately. At the state-owned television authority, the sole administrator, Mr. Muidin Akuridi, takes Governor Ahmed round ongoing renovation works there. The state governor tells the press why the upgrade of the state media house is necessary ahead of the digital switchover deadline. We recognize the fact that um, information dissemination is very critical to governance and people require to get the right information at the right time. So getting the environment that will make information dissemination enabling is what prompted us into ensuring that we got this place uh, into the right position through the right funding and ensuring that it meets uh, current needs in the media industry. The governor and his team also inspected works at the shopping complex along Fateh Basin Road and the new office complex of Quara Harmony Holdings where he showed satisfaction with the quality of work done.